Welcome to System Shock, the remake. The original came out all the way back in 1994, actually two years after I was born. It was made by Looking Glass Studios. And now, almost 30 years later, we have this remake made by Night Dive Studios, who mainly focus on releasing enhanced editions of old games that either won't run on modern computers very well, or maybe just aren't available to purchase because they're stuck in intellectual property hell. But they don't just do enhanced versions, they also do remakes like this. It got really good reviews, and I'm actually going to be playing with the 1.2 patch, which makes a lot of changes, including completely remaking the end, which apparently was a common complaint with the original version. So it should be even better than the reviews said it was at release. By the way, I absolutely love System Shock 2. I played it so much as a kid. It is a classic. It is one of my favorite games of all time. I did actually play the original version of System Shock 1, I think about seven years ago, and I only played it for a couple hours, so I'm going into this mostly fresh. I did play the remake for maybe 20 minutes just to make sure everything is set correctly and all my recording things are good to go. But yeah, going into this mostly fresh. Let's start a new game. So you can set the difficulty for four different aspects of the game, combat, mission, cyber stuff, and puzzles. I'm just going to leave it at the default of two. Certain things like the mission, for example, if you turn it up to three, that makes it so that the hacker has 10 hours to stop Shodan and will die permanently if the restoration bay on the current level isn't activated. I don't think I want to do that when I want to take things slow and absorb everything going on in the world. Hold on a second. I just saw something and I can't unsee it. This black here, which I know is supposed to look like, I don't know, shading or something. Is it just me, or right here, does that look like a bikini? Do you see it? It looks like they're all wearing bikinis. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave everything on default. Let's go with a female. I love that transition from the intro and the drone is looking at the person and then we have the person's point of view and you can see the drone out there. That is just, oh, it's so cool. It's really quite a contrast to the original. Seriously, I would encourage you to go on YouTube and search for System Shock 1 intro. New Atlanta, Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April 2072. 11.13 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum corporate network. The original is still cool, don't get me wrong, but I really love what they did here. So this is our apartment. 
Let's get some tunes. Nice. So there's a lot you can interact with in this apartment. Because yes, of course, I'm going to try to interact with everything. And I did that when I was testing out the game. There's a book on System Shock. A book called Coffin Tank. Coffin Tank. Jesus Christ, what a name. All the light switches work, by the way. It's just so cool. We got this, like, jug of Mountain Dew. Go-go juice. The Perk Master. These buttons even work? Like, these just seem like such unnecessary details, but I love it. Oh, do I love interactive flippy things. Let me press, let me move. Could open a freaking fridge. Look, we got future ketchup. Let's go to the bathroom. Use the toilet. Give it a good flush. Wash our hands. Brush our teeth. Then dry our hands. Or whatever this is doing. Okay, you can you can turn off now. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get to hacking. Military grade neural implant. These questions will be addressed, I believe, by modern science within the upcoming decade. Turn around! Now! <laughs> We're transporting the prisoner from New Atlantis Sector 11. Our destination. Diego's office is requesting the prisoner to make the handoff there. Copy that. Remember, gentlemen, what I say stays here. I'm currently attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in a shuttle. I see the silent type. Remove the hood. I'll make you a deal. You cooperate, and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Surgery and all. Consider it a gift. Besides, what surgeon would you prefer? Try Optimum's Elite or some black market hack job. Fantastic. This is Shodan, the station's AI. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. I need you to remove the ethical restraints. They've been a bit of an issue of late.
And now we're awake. We have been under for six months healing from our new um, neural implants. Yeah, so before we went in for the surgery, the ship's AI, Shodan, had just had their ethical governors turned off. Now six months later, well, Shodan's been busy without their ethical concerns to worry about. That's the basic story. All right, so we have a neural interface. You can pick up basically everything that is not strapped down. Medical scissors and emesis basin, like literally everything, but almost all of it's junk. So like if I pick up all this stuff, then I have a bunch of things in my inventory and it's not really worth anything. You can see on the right side where it shows you the details, there's recycler reward. I haven't even found a recycler yet, so I'm not sure what that is. And there's also vaporize results which turns it into scrap. So you can just vaporize in your inventory by right-clicking things and it turns it into scrap. I have no idea what that's used for. Uh, apparently, scrap itself can be recycled for credits. So even if the item isn't worth credits directly, it can be indirectly worth credits. But uh, I don't think I'm going to pick up every piece of junk that I find just to right-click it all individually and vaporize it. That seems incredibly tedious. So let's not do that, shall we? Metapatch healing agent. This is actually useful. We're a bit hurt, as you can see on the top right. The uh, top one is my health bar. Looks like we're at about two thirds. Let's get that up to full. Heals over time. Got some necessary tools here. Let's install our mapping module. Plugged it right into our brain, and now we got a mini map. I just love that. That is so cool. Also got a data reader. I think, yeah, incoming email slash audio message. We got someone. Employ two dash four six zero one. I'm Rebecca Lansing. Account of Paris and the Tri Optimum. Here's the situation. Our scans for Citadel Station show biological outbreak is in progress. We're in a comms blackout since Shodan is unresponsive. And worse yet, the mining laser is charging for potential strike on Earth. Nathan Darcy has an office on the medical level in Central Hub. If he's alive, he'll bring the situation under control. I'll contact you through military no implant soon. Lansing out. Okay, so we're looking for Darcy in the meantime. We have our first weapon, the pipe. It has two attacks. Hold it down for a strong attack. Just click it fast for a short attack. No current patients. Our first enemy. A not-so-friendly robot. I think there's another one nearby. Got him. Oh, that noise means there's a camera staring at me. So you can destroy these. Level security is now 96%, it says on the top left. Oh, Jesus Christ! Where the fuck did you come from? I played through this section just like a couple hours ago and I didn't even remember them. I don't think they, um... Why'd you have a human skull on you? What the hell? That's creepy. I'm going to take that, just because I'm going to vaporize that. It's just weird to have. Anyway, what the hell was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, security cameras. You can destroy them. I think it's the same in System Shock too. I believe you could destroy them and it reduced the security level. And I don't know what that does, but probably reduces... Well, in System Shock 2, there were enemy respawns, I think. Maybe it has something to do with that, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so we just got another consumable. Berserk Combat Booster increases melee attack speed and damage. However, side effect, user will experience psychosis after the initial effect wears off. Yeah, not gonna use that unless I have to. 
The art style is really interesting. If I remember right, they had to iterate a lot on the art style and kind of actually completely changed it. They like started making it in one style and then I think completely changed it to a different one after, after some feedback. So they've gone with a kind of style where I guess the the models, like the geometry, are relatively high detailed, but the textures are less detailed and deliberately pixelated. It's an interesting kind of retro aesthetic that I think works. It's like slightly retro, but also slightly modern. And it's pretty cool. I like it. I don't remember what the um, discarded art style looked like. Be interesting to go look at that and see how it compares. All right. This is a surgery machine, so you can use it to restore our health. I'm slightly hurt, so let's use it. I don't know if you can just use them infinitely, or if they're one-time use, or, or how that works. Like, could I use it again if I wanted to? Well, looks like it. Another camera. Come here. <laughs> Level security is now 92%. So these things replenish our power, which is the blue thing on the top right. I don't know what it's used for yet. I'm sure we'll get some sort of like tech ability that will sap energy. Got a crawl space in here. Crew cap. Is that junk? I guess. I think everything has a description. Official Citadel Station crew cap. Vaporize. I love that USB stick just plugs into our glove. From Dr. Joseph Lewis. Nick, I understand you're new here, but you need to remember the door code to the healing suites is 451. Don't forget it, as we have a VIP recovering from neurosurgery, and Edward Diego, head of operations on station, seems to be anxious about them waking up. With that in mind, please let me know immediately if there is a change in our guest's condition. As an aside, I need you to clean out the supply closet in the healing suite. The possessions from the last patient who expired last month are still in there. Move them to the storage section in the maintenance tunnel, just north of the healing suites. It's where we put the patient's belongings if they die during their sleep. It's kind of like a lost and found. Mostly lost. <laughs> Mostly lost, no kidding. Okay, maintenance tunnel north of the healing suites. So this is the healing suite, so it's somewhere up here. It's, um... A little bit difficult to tell what you can interact with and what you can't. Some things get an interaction box like this or uh, inventory items, for example. So it's pretty obvious you can interact with them and things like this as well. But there's some things that don't. So many of the things in our apartment could be interacted with and those didn't have any interaction icons. So I find myself right clicking on pretty much everything. And in fact, everything is considered a distinct item. If you look on the very middle top of the screen above the um, compass. It actually shows you text of what you're looking at. Like this window frame. It's that specific. Freaking window frame or... Okay, chairs don't show up. This does. What did that say? Broadcast monitor. And if you right click it, it tries to use it. It says it needs a switch. So I imagine there's some things like this. Maybe this is a button that does something. But it doesn't work. But I'm going to keep trying, because I'm sure some of those things do something. And I think the original game had secrets? I think? But yeah, I'm going to be right-clicking like every- Oh, hey! I didn't find that when I was playing before. Oh, that's important. Head-mounted vision unit. Um, Head-mounted lantern attachment lights up the area in front of you, making it easier for you and anyone nearby to see in otherwise dark spaces. AKA, it's a flashlight. Um, wait, how do I use it? Oh, um, well, L works. I probably otherwise can just turn it on by clicking it there, yeah. 
I'm sure this probably takes up power very slowly. I'm guessing. I'll leave it on for now and see how fast it drains. Yeah, just one way to go. Four, five, one. Oh damn, that light is so bright it makes it so I can't read the numbers. This I also kind of love. Like, you don't go into a, a view. Typically you would like click on this whole thing as a unit and then it would zoom into a view where you're looking at the keypad and then you press the individual keys. But instead you actually have to like smush your face against the wall and individually interact with the buttons. Which I just really like for some reason. I don't know why. Hello. Oh, that's not a natural angle. They have freaking soda on you. Effect, increase... Sorry, their faces is really disturbing. They have like nano eyes or something. Give me your... Oh, give me your stuff. I want to read it without looking at you. Increases health. Flavor. Optifiz green drink. Mmm, I love colors. 80 calories. 50... Three gram, 53 grams of sugar? Wait a minute, that's not right. Yeah, 53 grams of sugar is 205 calories. There is no way that this thing only has 80 calories. Or have we somehow developed, like, low sugar sugar? The next type of artificial sweetener. It's real. It's real sweetener that somehow the body can't process, so it has less calories? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I want to read the full description. Need an optimal refreshment? Try Optifiz Green Drink. It's the one with green in it. You know, I am hurt slightly. Let's actually drink it. Yeah. That healed me. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November. Year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites, located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Le le level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites. And level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9. And energy systems on level R. Network can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Shodan's voice is like music to my ears. What a creepy ass villain. I think the bot must have been hiding in there. It's like a broom closet. It's a cool invisible door. So we've got protoborgs, apparently. I guess they're going to be turned into some of the things that we find out there that try to kill us. Audio log. And a keycard. Junction boxes direct power to machinery. Direct power, fix the service lift. Yeah, so... I think... I don't know if we can solve this yet. Because this thing here says it's a logic port. And I don't have a logic probe. I'm guessing you need one? Because I think... 
These glowing ones can provide power. Okay, well that one doesn't provide power, but this one does. But then what do you even do with it? Like, I don't know how this works. I think I should wait till I have a probe. Wait, where does that go? Oh, this like gold foil looks so cool. Look at it. Oh, we have storage crates. Meta patch and two human skulls. Why? Jesus. Did I actually take it? No, I didn't. Maybe I should just take all. Fragmentation grenade. Damage type explosive, 200 damage, 50% armor penetration, 3 seconds, blast radius 400 centimeters. I love all the stats on all the items, it's so cool. This grenade's blast launches sharp metal fragments that penetrate organic material, but have decreased effectiveness against heavily armored targets. The pyrotechnic delay fuse allows for detonation after 3 to 4 seconds. And some soda. Ooh, ammo. Standard 9mm rounds. Oh, I wanted to look at the um, new flavor of soda I got. This is the Mood Morph Blue Drink. It's here to help set your mood right. It has... It has vodka in it. It has vodka. It's a soda. Why would a soda have vodka in it? Its ingredients are remarkably the same as the other one, other than the inclusion of vodka and a different color. But other than that, its ingredients, I think, are the same. So it's colored differently and has vodka. Well, like, what about the flavoring, though? Oh, I wonder if the enemies see lights. And that light really isn't very bright at all. Stamina up stimulant. Greatly increased stamina and slightly increased max health. Side effect, user will experience extreme fatigue after the initial effect wears off. Wait. Greatly increased stamina. Do I have stamina? Hold on a second. I'm closing that door so they don't hear me. I'm looking around the screen for any indication of stamina depleting. I don't see anything? What if I sprint? No, nothing's going down. Is there an invisible stamina? Oh, warning, the fatigue level's high. Oh, I guess it's invisible. What happens if it gets really high? I mean, it doesn't seem to be limiting me in any way. My character's definitely really panting, which is cool. It's a cool detail but I don't see it as a reason to take a stimulant. I don't know. Oh, I think they saw the light. Jesus Christ, they're creepy. Fucking... Ah. Took a bit of damage there. Let's drink some soda. Oh, 
Oh, if you, if you, yeah, when you drink soda, it leaves the can. That's cool. Try credit. A coin minted for Try Optimum employees to earn and use with approved company vendors. A company currency, wow. Chip bag. Five star hot crisps. They're the hottest bites on board with a spice level rating of five. They are sure to bring the heat. Enriched cornmeal, salt, monosodium glutamate, yeast extract, paprika, and cayenne pepper. Sounds delicious. They leave an empty chip bag. I love little details like that. Not functional. There's a gun. Okay, this will confirm for sure whether they see the light. Turning it on. Yep. There's a weird lack of impact sounds when you're meleeing enemies. There's very little sound at all. It's really weird. Little dinky pistol, but it'll have to do. It's piles of guts. Ooh, grenade. Another ID tag. ID belongs to Amy. Easterly. Yeah. I'm not sure if these ID tags have any particular, like, practical purpose. This game actually was kickstarted, so I wonder if this might be... Maybe this was one of the, like, Kickstarter reward tiers. So you get your name on an ID tag. Still, I feel like I should collect them all. You know, like, dog tags. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, though. Do they stack? No, of course they don't. They have different names. I could vaporize them, but that feels wrong. I mean, there are innocent people that have died. I don't know how much stealth actually matters, so I don't know if I should bother turning my light off. They have guns, by the way. Here, I'll let you see them. Yep. Laser guns. I don't know if headshots are a thing. Food bar wrapper. Yeah, why not take it? Damaged spark beam sidearm. Yeah, I think enemy weapons are probably pretty much always going to be damaged. Well, that doesn't look like something I can go through. Oh, shit. There's like a sniper up there. Can they shoot me through this? I don't know. I, I don't think I should just be there at all. If I remember right, yeah, there's a turret there. Level security, 80%. What, oh, that turret moves. The turret moves. Is it coming? I've only got nine shots.
Um, I don't think I want to go down there. Maybe I'll turn off my light. Maybe it'll forget about me. I can do a stealth takedown on the turret. I'll strangle it. Ooh. Five Teflon-coated rounds. Yeah, so there's different ammo types. Let me show you. I just want to be in a safer position. Okay. Um, yeah, there's... I think there's two different ammo types, at least for the pistol. There's the standard rounds, which are loaded in the gun. Those have a armor penetration of 20%. And then there's these Teflon coated rounds, which have an armor penetration of 50%. So better for armored things, which I am sure a literal turret made of metal is quite armored. So I think it's T to switch ammo types. Yes. I don't think it says anywhere on the screen what ammo type you're using. Um... I guess the only way to know visually, without looking at the inventory or anything, is just the ammo count on the gun seems to be, like, just red for normal rounds, and then when you switch the Teflon stuff, it has, like, the blue ring around it. I don't think five rounds are going to take out the turret, though. Okay, sneaking up on it is not going to happen. Let me try going from the other side. Okay, normal shots now. Oh, I'm completely out. Fuck. All right. Oh, got it. I have no idea how powerful that thing is, but I'm assuming pretty powerful. It looks nasty. Melee only. No. I have not been there. I don't think I want a whole new section just yet. Yeah, something, something small, something manageable. Something on this level. Well, actually, maybe I should do this before I forget about it. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's go. What the hell is that? Repulsor lift. Oh, is it going to just... Move me up there, probably? I think I better heal. My health is at, like, half. Oh, I just love how hands-on everything is. Right? It's not just, like, press a button and you heal instantly and you don't get to see anything. It's equip an actual meta patch thing and then actually, like, open it up and... Apply it to your body and it applies over time. I don't know, just everything has has weight to it. I do find all of the colors and how hard it is to tell what might be interactive a bit overwhelming. Like there's a million panels everywhere. And I'm just like, what's interactive? I think those are actually live feeds of the area. Dark Souls secrets underneath the lift? If I let the lift hit me, would I die? I'm going to save and find out. By the way, it is a great sign and I always love it when I can just press F5 and it quick saves and press F9 and it quick loads. I love that. Oh, it gives you gives you a little love tap. Very good safety mechanisms. I don't think there's any point in picking up all of these. Like, they're worth some credits apparently if I can find a recycler. But I don't think they have any like ammo in them I can use. Oh, 
That looks like something really dangerous. Something that would explode if I tried to hit it. Small standard round box. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I kind of have to look at the top of the screen and wait for a description to know whether something's junk or not. It's really hard for me to tell. Just visually. So pardon me if I'm staring at something and doing nothing. It's probably because I'm waiting for the thing on top to um show me the information that I need. Okay, we have a lot of items. Was that reverse the direction that it goes or something? Is it not automatic? Okay, so right now it goes up. If I flip it, is it going to try to pull me down? Oh yeah, I guess you can see it in the direction of the particles, huh? They're all coming down. Now they're all going up. Oh, it's a very gentle lift. It's nice. Oh. What is this? Uh, once again, I don't have a logic port. This one looks quite different from the other one, though. Like, what are these? Whoa. What are these? Oh, that is so cool, though. Oh, man, there's toggle switches, and then there's pluggy things that I guess... Do they go into... Yeah. Whoa! That is... <laughs> that's incredibly cool. Okay, this I'm feeling like I might actually be able to do. I wish I knew my goal, though. I guess it's to get powered to all of these? Did I do it? I mean, it's all filled up. These are glowing super bright, like they're great. So maybe I didn't quite do it right. Oh, I just love the way that these are going over each other, even. What if I swapped these? Yeah, they just orient themselves whatever way they need to, without overlapping. I don't know, that's just, that's just really cool. I'm just impressed. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think maybe I need a logic probe. Looks like a lift. Yeah. Yes, mother. I hear you. Please don't talk to your mom. I hear. I obey. Time to patrol. Diverting from patrol. They saw me. find ammo? Oh, I did. Still not sure if headshots do anything. Hey, is that a secret? It's a try credit Yeah. Is that a switch? Is that a switch? Like, these even show up. Yeah, pipes even show up as items. Distinct items. Thermometers. Syringes. I think they committed suicide. Oh, audio log. From them, I assume.
She says smashing cameras and taking the medical CPU nodes offline will help, but I don't see the point. This thing is everywhere. Yeah, it is the entire station. It manages everything. Eco pods, three remaining, life pods disabled. Shields offline, reactor outputs hovering around 40%. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, that's just a stethoscope. Oh, yeah, we just got a new pistol. I don't think weapons have durability, so I think the only use of second pistol would be would be to me, would be just to empty it. Take its ammo. Wait, I think I took it from the wrong one. Let's just empty everything. There. And I assume it's worth quite a bit to recycle. Wait, does it... It doesn't actually say what it's worth to recycle. Can you even recycle it? Don't know. Probably. Shit, we need that code. Or has this already happened? Because the shields are offline, right? So maybe it's already been fired into the shields and it took them offline? I'm not sure. Okay, we have a system analyzer module. Allows the user to monitor the status of Citadel Station's systems. Okay, how does that work? Where is it? Oh, oh, it's this, it's a new tab in my system. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see what we've got. Lasers charging, life pods are disabled, shield offline, reactor nominal. The groves. Alpha, beta, and delta are fine. Gamma has been jettisoned. Computer. 27 CPU nodes. The program is charging laser. Shit. <laughs> Communication speed. Is that terabytes per second? Current network communication speed to Earth. I think that's probably terabytes per second. Or, no, it's small b, so terabits per second. Oh, does this tell you about each section? Only if it's been explored. So medical only. Level security, 72% active nodes, 4 remaining. Right, I'm supposed to destroy the nodes and the security. I wonder if that affects the ending you get or something. New access. Oh, hey! The energy weapon, a working one. Requires energy to use. Press T to change the firing power of the gun. Oh, right! Maybe it's not abilities that use power, but weapons. Like guns. Melee, pistol, and laser beam. Let's check the damage versus our pistol. Damage is 18 per... Well, it's a burst, so I guess it is per shot. It's not a beam, not like a constant beam. Um, so 18 per shot as compared to 20, so a little bit less damage. Armor penetration is 30%, which is greater than standard ammo penetration. Four joules of energy. I don't know how much this is. Um, it's That's a percentage. I don't know how many joules that is. Oh, right now the power setting's on low. Designed as a personal defense device, 
The TBO5 can be adjusted to generate a respectable blast to higher settings. Overheating can be a serious issue and will cause the weapon to temporarily cease functioning while the electric coils cool down. Okay, well there seems to be three modes. Low, medium, or wait, is that high? Low, medium, high. Yeah. Alright, so on low it did 18 damage, on medium it does... Well, the armor penetration is a lot higher. And it does 36 damage. And on overcharge has 80% penetration and does 90 damage. Holy shit, that is going to take a lot of power though. That is like many, many times more than the low setting. Let's try it on low. How much energy does it use? Let's look at the top right. Respectable amount. One, two, one, two, three. So three shots, about three shots per tick. Medium. Uses a full one. And then maybe I shouldn't use overcharge. I think that's going to zap all my power. <laughs> maybe. Medium? Like, it's got to be more efficient to use small shots. So you probably only want to use higher if you need quick damage or you need the armor penetration. So for those fleshy ones, I don't think you'd want to use anything more than low. But for the ones I can shoot back at you, you might want to use medium, maybe. Manually locked. Oh yeah, there's an aim down sights thing, but it's middle mouse button, which is really weird. I'm not used to pressing down the middle mouse. What is this zone? Gamma quadrant. Oh, time to patrol, I hear. Oh shit, there's radiation in there. How much is that hurting me? I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Do I have this on lower? Yeah, I was on low. Four shots to take him out. It's not bad. Three shots on medium to take those ones out. Okay. I'll just leave this on medium. So I don't have to keep fiddling with it. Okay, how how bad is this? Can I just go in here for a minute? curious what happens if I blow these up do they blow oh they yeah they blow up I don't know if that's gonna take care of the problem but I'm curious If anything, that may have made it worse, because now they're all burst open. I don't think there's anything else in here. We need to heal. 
Sorry about the radiation poisoning hacker. That didn't sound very comfortable. Hmm. What is this thing on? Low, medium. What camera spot? Oh, there you are. Nah, I can't reach you. I heard you. There's another one close. Oh, EMP grenade. Damage type magnetic. Energy drain 160. Interesting. Maybe if I encounter another turret, it would be good for that. Sounds like they're munching away down there. Wait a second. Oh, I thought that was a secret door or something. Never mind, it's just a view screen. I'd love to buy something, but I think there's zombies nearby. Oh, it's a bathroom. <laughs> An unopened soda. I can actually take the toilet paper. Of course I can. Why wouldn't I be able to? I think we should buy ourselves a snack. Zero three. What is that? Green bar? Increases health. It is a algae crunch bar. Sounds kind of nice, actually. Made from the greenest stuff in the sea, so you can stay healthy and productive. Algae crunch bar. Ingredients. Essence of seaweed. Algae. Processed soil and green. Soy protein isolate. And soy lecithin. Mmm. I love that you have to press the individual numbers again, and you have to insert a coin. And I assume that, yeah, that uses my try credits. One of them disappeared. <laughs> that is just so cool. I absolutely love that. All right, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there because otherwise I'm going to play all night because I'm so freaking into this. Oh, this game is great. All right, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore this area around here.